Hey, welcome back. Short turnaround. I'm trying to get this outfit done for this little girl's birthday. So this is the puppy dog shirt, puppy dog pals shirt that we made. Um, so now we're just going to do a matching tutu to go along with it. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial, but mostly I'm really out of time. My mom's mad at me. I'm supposed to be at her house and take the baby because my cousin's here from out of town. So I'm trying to hurry. So I'm going to do this tutu real quick because I needed to get it done for the girl's birthday. But um, I'll give some tips and some pointers along the way. I'm going to do these three colors. we got a pink. Uh, this is a pale yellow and a light blue. Whatever you do, don't buy your tool at somewhere like Joann's or Michael's because it's ridiculously expensive. You know, you even if you get it on, like for cheap for like $2 per yard. For example, this tutu, I need 10 yards. So that's like $20 just for one tutu. Whereas you can get this like whole bolt. This is 40 yards. And you can get this online at different retailers. So I use bbcrafts.com. So BB Crafts has all these colors, 40 yards, for only like $8.99. 40 yards, again. So this is, all of these I got from BB Crafts. And once again, disclaimer, I am not the leading expert on tutus whatsoever. Definitely check out Angela and check out Pamela, um, their YouTube channels, and they show a lot. They've been doing it for a lot longer than I have, for years even, so um, check them out also. Thank you. Look who came to visit, who has her eyes open. Say hi, Elena. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> So since I'm doing three colors, what I'm doing is rolling out one yard at a time. So for this is a size 3T, I need 10 yards. So I have three colors, so that means each color gets three yards. Um, except for pink, I'll do an extra one for that one, that one and that'll give us to 10. I don't need no one to say you're complicated Cause I knew from the start this might be overrated Let's see. 
So I realized just now that my camera has stopped recording because it ran out of battery. So it didn't record me finishing off the tutus. Actually, I have no idea where it stopped recording, but here we are. So I put a new battery in now, um, but basically it was the same thing, whatever you saw. So I finished doing the ribbon and all sewing all the channels. So that's all done. Um, now I'm doing the elastic. So this is non-roll three quarter inch elastic so for a size 3t I need this to be 19 inches long I have here two giant size um, safety pins pins and I believe these are three inches yeah you can use a little bit smaller but I really like the giant ones so the first one, you're going to take it and put it right like at the tip. Like that. The other one, so that's the front end, this is the back end. You're going to put it about an inch or so down and you're going to put it more sideways. And the reason for this is so this will hold your tool. This you're going through the tool with and this is holding the end so it doesn't slip off and then it also leaves you some space to sew at the end so like here's all the tool and I'm going to alternate so I know I have four pinks so just make sure that you're always doing them facing the same way so I'm going to do it so that the clean edge satin part is facing me, not the, the back part. So it's facing me and I'm going to use my first end and then push it through the channel here. You kind of just scrunch up as much as you can until you run out of space. And then pull it through. keep scrunching up you can push it down to the end if you like so then you put your next color that you want to go so I'll do blue and the same thing you're gonna push it through and then alternate all of the colors until you're done change the scenery I'm at my mom's I did get in trouble but anyway. um, so there's two steps left on the tutu first one is to make the bow so I decided to do pink so it'll match with the letters on the shirt um, but I want to do it where I sewed the elastic band together if you can see there and I want it to be a pink bow on the blue so because I don't want to do pink on pink and then I want the middle of the bow to be yellow so then it'd be pink and yellow on blue so this is one and a half inch satin ribbon, double faced. So it's the same on both sides. It's the same that I used here. And it's the same that I used here. So first, you just want to fold it like an awareness ribbon. I don't know exactly how long this is. It depends on, like kind of do it like that and see how long you want it 
to sit on the tutu. So you fold it like an awareness ribbon and then let it like dangle and go like that. So there's a clip called like a gator clip or gator bite. I ordered one in January. It costs like $30. I have yet to receive this gator bite in the mail. It is now July. I ordered it in January. I heard that they took a long time for their orders, but this is just ridiculous. And yes, I know Corona and everything, but anyways, somebody online mentioned this clip on Amazon. Okay, 30 bucks for the gator clip is basically the same thing. This was $2 for three of them. Works the same way. Hold it in the middle. Then um, use this kind of thread. It's really good. It's a uh, crocheting thread. And just put it on a needle. Tie the ends. Kind of go through the bottom and hit all the ribbon. Pull it through so then you got your knot sticking in the back and now just kind of like drop it in the middle there and just go around a couple times Once you put it through a couple times, you're gonna go ahead and pull it. And see how that scrunches it up. It turns it into a bow. And then you can let go. Or you can't because mine got stuck. These things happen. the beginning of a bow right I want to make see how they end up a little bit off I'm gonna make sure they're the same length exactly so kind of lay them together and cut them so that they're same length to fold them in half and cut it at a slight angle. Do the same thing for the other side. And it gets you little tails. And then of course make sure to um, heat it up with the lighter. So it stops it from fraying. Now, take your other color, so in this case the yellow, fold both ends in so it creates a, a whole like rounded look in the front. Or, if, you know, if you have the colors that you want, get it in a size 7 8 inch. Look. No. Now it's through, do the same thing and send it underneath of the yellow, but not through the yellow. So 
to the other side. And then you want to send it back through both the bow and the elastic band at the point. And then just kind of do the same thing a couple times. Once you have it through the last time, I would just kind of go through a couple times in the back. Okay, once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. And you see your bow is done. Now the last step is to use a hot glue gun and glue together IT Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Hi camera. Hi camera. Say hi. Look right here. Right here. Hi camera. S E N O R I C A. This one's a face. Oh, what's your mommy clean your face? Scratch your face. That's my nephew Gabriel. Um, if you saw my video where I made um, the DIY photo canvas from Disney World, that was him in the picture hugging Donald Duck. So basically, you're just going to put a little bit of glue, just like a little dot, and then glue them together like that. And then it'll look seamless. So just keep turning it and do that for each one. Okay. So went all the way around. I have a mannequin at home. I'm gonna throw it on and um, fix it up a little bit. But here it is, finished product. Hope you enjoyed it. And make sure to subscribe, check me out on Instagram and Facebook, and come back next time.